Just about a year ago, I made a video on selecting a new saddle, the Brooks C17 Cambion Carved. There's a link to that video in the top right where you can get further details. In that video, I go through an unboxing, give a short desktop review, and my first ride impressions. Now, after a year, I'm going to give you my longer term review. Over my 40 years and hundreds of thousands of kilometers of cycling, I've given up trying to find a comfortable saddle. Instead, I just focus on getting a saddle I can live with. So you should bear that in mind in the context of this review. Saddles come in many shapes and sizes, as do people. So a saddle that I like, you may not, and vice versa. All I can do in this review is pass on my experience of the saddle and also try to be as objective as possible. Over the past year I've covered about 8,000 kilometers using this saddle. That includes several dozen rides over 100 kilometers, one of 170 kilometers and one of 225 kilometers. Overall I've done enough riding on this saddle to get a good impression of its qualities. When I first sat on this saddle, I felt the shape was good. Although the saddle surface is quite firm, I did feel it conform to my body. This can be explained by the flex in the saddle. On my first rides, I did notice some pressure around my sit bones. But now I've used the saddle more, it's not a problem. Maybe this is because I've conformed to the saddle, or the saddle has conformed to me. The flex in the saddle giving a suspension effect was really quite pronounced in the early rides. However, as I've used it more, I've noticed this less and less. I'm sure it's still flexing, I just don't notice it as much. That is, until I use one of my other saddles. But what about the hole, the feature that makes it a carved saddle? I can't say I can feel or notice the cutout in any way other than that I haven't had any problems in the perineal area. I'm sure it adds a bit of extra flex in the saddle, but without a back-to-back, -back, or rather bottom-to-bottom -bottom comparison with a non-carved saddle, I can't really comment. On rides up to 100 kilometers, I haven't had any problems with comfort, or rather discomfort. On the two longer rides, I did get a small amount of discomfort in my left buttock. However, I think this is more of my characteristic rather than the problem with the saddle, as I do get it with other saddles. Because the saddle surface is fairly smooth, with only a small amount of texture on it, I can easily move around on the saddle, just finding slightly <coughs> different sitting positions. This, I think, could be very useful for much longer rides, like a 600km Aldax. The relatively smooth surface means I've had no problems with chafing or rubbing. If you're not certain about the width of this saddle, Brooks do make wider and narrower versions. So I've just taken the saddle off the bike so we can take a closer look at it. I haven't had any structural or reliability issues. Its robustness is reflected in its substantial 450 grams of mass. I was expecting this texturing on the surface to have worn down in places, but it seems to have been holding up quite well. The only significant wear I can see is on the rivets, where some of the black coating has just worn down. Underneath, on the saddle rails, the coating has been slightly disturbed where it was clamped by the seat pin. There's no obvious wear, indents or change of shape where my sit bones rest on the saddle. At the current rate of wear, I would expect it to last for at least 80,000 kilometers. I haven't used the saddlebag loops, but one of my viewers reported that his broke. However, he did acknowledge that he may have exceeded the 3 kilogram weight limit. The only other observation I have is that the slots for the straps are really quite sharp in places, and perhaps it would be a good idea to round these off before you use them. I bought this saddle for long distance rides. I'm not going to pretend it gives me total comfort, but this is one of the most comfortable, if not the most comfortable saddle I've ever had. I can easily live with it. I've only used it for a relatively short length of time, but it looks like it will be very durable 
and the saddle should last for many years. At about ninety pounds it's certainly not cheap, but I consider it good value. If you're looking for a durable, comfortable saddle for those long distance rides and you're not too concerned about its weight, then I can recommend this Brooks C17 Cambium Carved. From my personal point of view, I wish I'd discovered this saddle many, many years ago. From me, for now, it's goodbye.